for all of the Joker's detractors, there's only one question left. Who's laughing now? Novak Djokovic has won the 2011 Australian Open men's singles final in blowout fashion against Andy Murray of Scotland. The final score of the match was 6-4, 6-2, and 6-3 for the Serb. It would be unfair to say that Murray didn't perform well in this match. Though that is true, it doesn't accurately reflect how dominant Djokovic was throughout this entire tournament. Even though Murray couldn't give the Serb much of a fight, no one else could either. Djokovic blew away Tomas Berdic in straight sets. Then he did the same to tennis deity Roger Federer. Murray was simply the last man in Nola's way, and he met a sad if not unexpected fate here in the finals. Many people will remember the 2011 Australian Open men's tournament because of the injury sustained by Rafael Nadal. And, of course, Nadal is the number one ranked player in the world, and he could well have won this championship and completed the Rafa Slam had he not gotten injured against countryman David Ferrer in the quarterfinals. This is not the proper focus, though, in my mind. This tournament was all about Djokovic. He only lost one set in seven matches, and that was in a 10-8 to tiebreak. Simply put, he was not going to be denied here in Melbourne, and I'm not sure if even Nadal could have stopped Djokovic had the two met in tonight's final. For Murray, this is another bitter loss in a Grand Slam final, his third, and his second consecutive at the Australian Open. Our sincere condolences go out to Murray, his family, and his fans. He's going to need all the good fortune he can muster at this time, we believe, as a disappointed British press is likely to pick him apart for his failure here. To Djokovic and his fans, it is time for just celebration. This win could not have been sweeter, and Serbia should and will rejoice. Anna Ivanovic, the Serbian female tennis star, once again sat in Djokovic's box to take in the match, and we imagine much celebration will be taking place tonight both in Melbourne and Belgrade. Djokovic proved with the victory that he has entered into the top echelon with Federer and Nadal. He is now only the second man currently playing on tour not named Federer or Nadal who has multiple Grand Slam championships. The other is the aging Leighton Hewitt. For the rest of the men's tennis field, the landscape has changed. The Joker has arrived in full and he will have to be dealt with from this point forward. Reporting for Conservative New Media, this is Paul F. Villarreal.